What are you doing here? Working raw too now? Nah, just in the neighborhood. But since I am here, anything I can help you with? Happy to walk you through how things work around here. I'd appreciate that. There's no shame in admitting that while I know what I'm doing in the ring, the backstage politics of this place are a bit intimidating. <laughs> That's a feature, not a flaw. But honestly, it's probably the same as you're used to at any indie event. Use the time before any show to change your gear and level up your skills. And most importantly, don't forget to check your social media and talk to people backstage. That's pretty much how all opportunities around here come about. Makes sense. Is that it? Pretty much. Check your social media and talk to people and you'll find yourself in matches and rivalries in no time. Just remember that once you agree to do something, you'll have to see it through before you can turn your focus to something else. Copy that. Thanks, Justine. No problem. Good luck, superstar. Here she is, the formidable and unflappable Cap. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, Amanda Marie Davis. Cap looks like she is itching to throw hands tonight. And she's come to the right place. Her opponent wants nothing more than to take that big indie reputation and drag it through the mud. Cap is on a mission tonight. Jade is here. Jendo stick in hand, ready for a fight. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade. Cora Jade has called herself the savior of the women's division. Look, Jade isn't here to play games and make friends. She's here to face the best of the best and take them down. She certainly doesn't suffer from a lack of confidence.
Get ready to see the toughness of Cora Jade on full display. Well, she showed up with a kendo stick, so we get it. She's tough. Cora Jade finds herself squaring off against a newly focused and mindful opponent in Cat. Yeah, I heard she's recently embraced meditation and is looking to reach an entirely new plane of wrestling out there. Well, her cheese may be aligned now, but after Cora Jade threw with her, I doubt they'll stay that way. Matt Slam with some attitude. All measured up. Oh, from behind, that'll give you some whiplash. Turns the favor there. Oh, vicious running knee lift. From the middle rope, boots out. Wow, we took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. Jade's toughness being put to the test. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Bam! Stopping their opponent. Followed by a forearm smash. Oh, what impact. Thinking pays off. Putting a stop to all her showboating. Jade must be phased after this string of action. Cora's getting knocked back at every Look at this, Byron. Make your forehead, Silver, draining all the energy out of the opposition. You can see the agony on her face. Oh, slipped through and escaped. That was pretty. Drop kick. Oh, oh, great height. Look at this, Byron. Make your forehead scissor, draining all the energy out of the opposition. I'm not sure there's anything she can do here. She is trapped and in danger. Ah, oh, slipped through and escaped. That was pretty. Ah, oh, drop kick. This match is falling apart for her. Yeah, she's looking drained, Cole. I don't know how much is even left in her. Oh, my God. And now she's got all her gears running. And you know now she must rethink her strategy. And she's gone after her opponent's core a few times now, treating the torso to yet another attack. A knee drop delivered. So precise. Off the ropes. Brutal knee to the side of the face. From the apron. What a moonsault. Incredible athleticism. Pinpoint precision right on target. She begins to stir back up, but does it look good? Count out a minute. She needs to get back in. And she manages to beat the count. Certainly has a flair for suspense. Can't find a foothold in this match. Yeah, Jade has to find a response quickly. Hip attack in the corner. Oof, man, what a hit. Dropping the knee. I think she's ready to fly. A spaceman plancha. Space woman, Cole. Risking it all and able to connect like a homing missile. She's just getting worked over right now. She's been pushed into a bad spot for sure. She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Three. 
Springboard! Oh, no! Paying the price of treating your own body like a human crash test dummy. She re-enters the ring now. Close line. And a second. This superstar building momentum. Sweeping the leg. Things are looking up. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Jade must be phased after this string of action. Jade needs to find a trick in her playbook now. Oh, attacked in the midsection. Could be seconds away. But... Up into the torture rack. Beast your eyes. That has Cora counting the lights. Fell right into that one. Big boot. You can sense what her intentions are here. Up into the torture rack. Boom! Feast your eyes. This one is all over. Trapping the leg here. Nice job getting to the ropes. And when you're in that position, you have no other choice. And that'll be a rope break right there. Shoulders down. And a strong kick out in one. Unbelievable display of will in the late stages of this matchup. Running knee lift. Cora can't find a foothold in this match. Yeah, Jade has to find a response quickly. Look at this, Byron. With your forehead scissor draining all the energy out of the opposition. Is she going to tap, 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 tap? What does she have to do to get out of this? Tap up. And this one is over. Here is your winner, Amanda Marie Davis. Cora Jade suffering the loss in this one. Cora Jade's perpetual bad mood just got worse. No way she lets this loss go. So, sounds like Nikki's got you hooked on the Breath app, too? It did seem to help me in my last match. I like it. I'm not sure I'd say I'm hooked. Oh, you'll get hooked. The whole thing's a pyramid scheme. The meditation app? The one that trains you to breathe? That's how it starts. Before long, I was breathing all the time. Now that I'm nearly the diamond level, I don't think I could stop breathing if I tried. That just sounds like basic biology. But if it's bothering you that much, and you're really worried it's some sort of pyramid scheme, why don't you just quit? Oh no, let me be clear. I don't care that it's a pyramid scheme, as long as I'm at the top. Plus, a diamond level, there are a ton of new perks. All I've got to do is sign up a couple more people. I know we're technically sisters of the breath, but if you try to cop any of my referrals, I will drop you. All good. I'm just in it for the breathing. You sound so gold level right now.
Welcome a superstar who defines tenacious, brave, and driven. The following contest is a six-woman battle royal. Making her way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, Amanda Marie Davis. Cap has been making waves ever since her WWE tryout. If by waves you mean doing a great job of making the rest of the locker room suspicious of her motives, then yeah, sure. The captain is ready to call the shots. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. One of the best competitors around, ready to show her skills. Here comes danger in a small package. Focused, determined, and dangerous. Yeah, and just looking for her moment to strike and shine in this division. And from Chongqing, China, Zaya. is a woman who claims to be motivated to bring justice to WWE. If you are a source of evil, Xia Lee will have no problem hunting you down. Or is Xia Lee herself the evil source? How about that, Saxton? Zelina might be little, but she is fierce. And representing the LWO from Queens, New York, Zelina Vega! Zelina has seen a tremendous amount of success lately. She won the Queen's crown and reformed the LWO. And Zelina's not showing any signs of slowing down. Selena was no stranger to success before, but now she seems destined for the top. Well, here comes the girl with the shiniest wizard. A competitor that's shown she possesses tremendous heart from bell to bell. A true inspirational superstar. And from the Welsh Valleys, Tegan Knox. Well, Tegan was betrayed by her former best friend, Dakota Kai, in the first ever women's war games match. All that says to me is that Tegan Knox simply isn't a very good best friend. Saxton? Saxton? I deserve my comment. Saxton? A feel-good story every time Tegan Knox competes.
Now the party can really start. Huh. I just hope I'm invited this time. Byron, you're never invited. Like, ever. Like, never, ever, ever. And Jeez, Michael. From the Philippines, Caden Carter. Caden Carter, a former collegiate basketball star, has been doing big things since coming to WWE. Yeah, it's that athletic mindset that has made her such a fierce competitor. The personification of speed and agility in the women's division. Don't blink or you're going to miss Caden Carter. Six fearless contenders are facing off apparently with meditation mastery on the line. Now, back in the day, I got the line for some silly reasons, but this one might top them all. It looks like someone hasn't reached Emerald level yet. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. He's got big plans. Planet with a face buster. And now dropping the bombs. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. <laughs> Off the ropes. Oh, running knee strike. Flex is so important in a match like this. This is just brute power. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crack. Laser focused on the knee and taking it out with precision. Some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flop your abilities. Ooh, what a forearm club. Cut off with a kick to the gut. Oh, vicious 
running knee lift. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, still got to throw over the top rope, though. And the agony has no reason to end as we see her tapping out in pain. That's the kind of win that can take their career to the next level. This certainly wasn't an easy win, but she pulled it off. And in the end, that's all that matters. Have you managed to sign anyone up to the app yet? Or are you still just a fledgling Gasper? A what? No, I just use the app. I'm not into all the hunting for recruits and everything. Great, then who do you know who might wanna use the program? And will you give me their emails, phone numbers, addresses, and social security numbers if you have them? Um, no. Come on, Cap. You're messing with my livelihood here. Your livelihood? You're a wrestler last I checked. For now? But for how long? This could be my career post-WWE. A pyramid scheme? Take that back. You don't use those terms. Those terms are forbidden among the breathers. Who told you this was a pyramid scheme? You, a week ago. A week's a long time. I'm gonna get to diamond level, and now I understand the app's vision. Picture it, a world where everyone, everywhere, no matter their background or income, breathing. <laughs> Isn't everyone already breathing? Not properly. They don't know. The outsiders don't know the true power of the breath. Okay, I have to be honest with you. You're making this whole thing sound really crazy. If this is what the app is doing to people, I think I'm just gonna breathe on my own then I can no longer speak with you. I must sever all connections with outsiders because they are not one with the breath and therefore hinder my path to enlightenment and disrupt the harmony within our sacred community. You've severed all connection with reality. And I hate to tell you this, but you're in a cult. That word is even more forbidden than pyramid scheme. It is my sacred duty to defend my sisters of the breath. You and me, in the ring, now! Try not to pop every blood vessel before we even get there. A leader in or out of the ring, the captain. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, Amanda. 
Amanda Marie Davis. From indie legend to WWE superstar, Cap is always ready for action. Yeah, this isn't some smoke-filled bingo hall, Saxton. It's WWE. If the so-called captain wants to prove herself here, she's got to do it in the ring. Up aboard, it's go time for the captain. Social media is buzzing, a big fight feel, and a main event level match. She loves the reaction she receives from the WWE Universe, and I think she's going to take that energy into the match, too. Ava Moreno takes to defending the breathing community against Cat the Dissenter. Saxton, it might be time for an intervention. If you just use the link I sent. Let's keep our focus in the ring, gentlemen. Oh, oh my gosh. Terminating knee smash. Uh-oh. Momentum is slipping away from Moreno. Yeah, Ava has... I think she's ready to fly! Wow! Man, that's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Oh! She's beginning to flag a little. Coming back in the ring. She's gaining momentum here, guys. You can tell she is fully focused now. Big forearm. Ava interrupts the attack. Ava doing what she can to halter the beatdown. Could be a chance for Ava to change the complexion of this match. The only show that matters on Monday night, if you're not watching Raw, you're probably asleep. From the top. Drop. Good Lord! Stopping their opponent! Oh, that forearm smash! And momentum is slipping away from Moreno. Yeah, Ava has to pull a trick from her sleeve. She's going for it! And referee cuts off the count in one. Wow, I thought this was over. Uh-oh. Slam. Power bomb position. But right hands create separation and an escape. Oh, and a knee to the face. That offense really hitting her hard. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this. Oh, look at this. Is it enough, guys? Is Shot it enough to get back in this match? Wow. So far, so good. I don't know who's feeling this more, her or the crowd. Face first, good night. Ava's in real danger now. Perched on the shoulders. Whoa! Feast your eyes. Moreno's in the worst way now. She's rising back up on those wobbly legs. 
Perched on the shoulders. <laughs> Looks like a match ender. Try to end it. <laughs> Somehow, some way, escapes defeat. Still alive. The heaviest are. Look at this fire. Bigger forehead saver draining all the energy. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, Amanda Marie Davis. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. We are looking at the textbook definition of a winner right now, and you can bet she is about to let everyone in the locker room know just that. bringing indie cred and attitude to the WWE ring. It's Cap! The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, Amanda Marie Davis! Ever since she arrived in WWE, we've been wondering who Cap really is. Now, I think everyone can see. A natural leader who is earning her colleagues' respect? That seems like a good reputation to have. Cap is here, and she's ready to fight. Here comes everyone's favorite bundle of insanity. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross. The superhero's flown the coop. Nikki's now somehow even more unhinged than before. There's so many accolades in Nikki's career. She was even the final 24-7 champion after throwing the title in the trash. Well, the last woman to throw a title in the trash made it to the Hall of Fame, so maybe there's a method to Nikki's madness. We've got a breathtaking showdown as Cap tries to wring the last gas from a meditation app, and Nikki Cross fights to breathe new life into its reach. It's embarrassing how a multi-level marketing thing has led someone to wanting to throw down over a lack of sign-ups. Let's just all remember how easy it is to get wrapped up in stuff like this. It could happen to anybody. And the forearm smash! From the... She comes up empty. Oh, vicious running knee lift. 
Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. Cross can't stop any offense coming her way. Yeah, Cross needs to come up with a new plan fast. She's forced onto the defensive now. Oh, a knee to the face. Oh, merciless knee to the face. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. She scores big with the counter. Oh, look at the kicks right to the midsection. Boom! Three. She's been on the offensive for a little while now. It looks like there's nothing there that can stop her. It's been a cover, cover. Nikki Cross falling short of the win. I'm not 100% sure Nikki is aware she came out on the losing end of this match. Whether Nikki knows it or not, she lost the match.